Nine of this course so in this video we are going to be creating this background image carousel project by just using html css and javascript so now if i just click on this arrow so it will now change the background image to another image okay so if you just click on it one more time so it will just change these background images okay so this is what we are going to be building by just using html css and javascript so without wasting any further time now let's jump right into our code editor and write your code so now let me just create a folder given name of like 059 and it will be like a background image carousel inside this folder we are going to be creating three files the first one will be index.html the second one will be style.css and the third one will be just app.js for javascript L let me just make it a bit bigger so that we can focus on our code all right so the first thing i would do is i'll just write my doc type html then i'll change my title to like background image carousel now let me just link it with my CSS and also with my JavaScript server file. And now let me just hide that metadata and open it with the live server. So for HTML, we are going to be first of all writing a main with the class of image container. Inside this image container, we would have our div with a class of image and also the active class. Okay, so inside there we are going to be writing a style, not style here. But there we are going to be writing a style of background image. Okay, and now let's just provide our background image in here. And we are going to be getting our images from fresh.com. Um, what was that? It was like 16. Let, let me just get my 16. Yep, that's the resource. So let me just copy that and paste it right here. Zoom out a bit so that we can see everything a bit clearer. So we have this unsplash link right here, and anytime it will just give us a random images. So if I just hold control and click on this link, and it will now bring me to this unsplash images. So it will now give us that unsplash image. Okay. All right. So it will now give us this cloud image. So now let me just close that one. So now let me just copy this div a few times. Like the first one will be for rain. Then we have a sky, lake, water, or water <laughs> for British people. And now let's just finally write a forest. And underneath this div, we are going to be writing our buttons container. So we are going to be writing like button with a class of btn and also arrow dash button and also left and arrow. Inside this button, we are going to be writing our paragraph. And here we are going to be writing our HTML entity for that arrows. Let me just place this hashtag x2190 and then close it. Now let me just duplicate this line of code and change this left to right arrow and then instead of zero now let's just change it to two server file and now here you can see we get these errors right here with the help of html entities now let's just change these images the first one will be rain the second one will be you know first of all let me just remove these actives from the rest of them but the first one will have this active class so now let's just remove there so i'm going to just remove it and now we are good to go so now the next thing which i'm going to do is instead of rain we are going to be writing a sky and then rain we are going to be writing a link and let's just write like water or woo or <laughs> however you pronounce it and then let's just write like for rest okay so that's that now let's just save our file and we will get nothing so now let's just go to our css file and now let's just style it a bit so the first thing i would do is i'll just select everything part a margin of zero padding will be also zero box sizing will be border box Font family will be sans serif, save everything. Let me just make it a bit bigger. And now let's just declare all variables. So let me just write a transition of transition, come on, dash dash transition speed will be equal to 0 0.5 seconds. And then we have a button BG color and it will be transparent. Now the next thing which you have to do is to get our body. And now right or display of flags justify content will be center flex direction will be column because we want everything to be center uh, align items will be also center and now let's just forward our transition right here so transition speed and ease and now we cannot see our images right away let me get my image first of all which will be these images class let me just write it which will be this image um class right here so we provide this image class to all of these div right here so here you can see all of these images classes right here all right so now let's just select that and we are going to be writing a position background position of center center and also a background size of cover background 
position will be just like no not position background repeat will be no repeat okay and now let's just our top of like minus uh, 15 vh and also let me just get my left and it will be also vw okay so z index will be just one for now and now let's just get our arrow buttons which will be this one so now let's just get our arrow buttons really quickly and we are going to be just adding a position of fix to it and bottom will be just like 10 vh so here you can see we get the first button right here and now let's just get our second button which will be like left button like left arrow let me just get this one okay so um that's that and left will be calc now let's just put a 15 vw minus 120 pixels save it Okay, so here's our next button and now let me just uh, duplicate this and now let's change this one to right and also this one will be also right. Okay, so once we save it, everything is working the way we expect him to work. Let's just get our button class which will be this button class right here and here. So now let's just style that like background color will be totally transparent so let me just write a border of none and color will be crimson for now and font size will be just three rims and cursor will be pointer save it and here is our button right here okay and finally now let's just write our animation for javascript okay so we are going to be just first of all selecting like animate transition and now let's just write like animation and now let's just give a name of like animation we are going to be creating this and then let's just write our transition speed and finally ease okay so now let's just create this animation so i want to just write like uh, key and identifier will be animation and we are going to be going from zero transform and translate to the x-axis like five pixels and now filter will be blur uh, not blue blur and now let's just write our four pixel okay and now let's just write our 50 percent inside this 50 percent or transform translate to the x axis will be now equals to minus 50 per, um, pixel and then we have our filter and it will be now set to blur and now we have to just write two pixel right here so now the next thing which you have to do is to just write 100 percent and transform will be just like translate to the x axis from zero and then filter will be blur zero as well so everything will be working right away but we, so that we cannot see it right here because we're going to use this class right here like animate transition so we are going to be using that inside our javascript all right so the first thing i would do for javascript is i'll get my body so document.body would be fine and now let's just get body so now let's just get our const images and it will be now equals to document.query document.query selector and now let's just write all because we want to select all of these images right here which is uh image class this one this one this one and all of them okay so now we want to select that let me just console log this body and also these images so once we save it and open our console so here you can see it will now give us all of the body and then it will give us this uh image with the class of active and the, the rest of these images right here okay which we cannot see right away let me just remove this console logs from there and now let's just write or let active image variable in it will be now set to like zero for now and here we just have to write a function uh, which will just show us like active images inside this function we are going to be iterating all through these images so we are going to be writing like images now for each for each come on for each and now let's just write image and inside these images we are going to be writing images.classless.remove active and also image.classless.remove uh, animate transition okay so we want to remove both of these classes right away once we call this function so then we have images uh, now let's just put our active image uh, variable up there and now let's just write classless.add and then just write or active okay so now let's just duplicate it and now let's change this one to animate uh, transition that will be it for this class then now the next thing which you have to do is that we also have to grab our arrow buttons so let me just get like const arrow buttons 
and it will be now equals to document dot query select all and now let's just get or error error buttons as well okay so that's there let me just log this to a console so that i want to make sure that we already selected it we have these two buttons first one second one so this will be it for the active images function now let's just create our next function which will be like set image as background okay kind of a long name but that will do it so now let's just select our body and then write a style of background background image um, and it will be now equals to this images and now let's just provide our active images um active image variable which is this one active image grab that paste it in here and now let's just write a style dot background image okay so now we are good to go so now we create this function now let's just call it right away so we are going to be just writing like set um image as a background and now let's call it save our file and now here you can see it will now gives us this image right here so this one will be the first image so if i click on that nothing's going to happen right away so if i just refresh it it will give us another image it'll take a bit of time because we are getting these images from these urls let me just show you these urls so that's why it's taking a little bit of time and this is the second image and now you get the idea like we have these images right here it's taking a little bit of time to render anyhow so that's that now the next thing which you have to do is that we have to iterate or through these buttons so that we can just attach our event listener on them so now let's just write that error buttons and now here i'm going to just write like for each first of all because you want to get our buttons like each of the button and now let's just write like button that add event listener of click we want to just get our click event on there and now let's just write our function inside there okay so here we are going to be just checking our condition if button that class list is equal to just like a right error so we want to write like active image not images but come on i forgot this variable name a lot of times so active image plus plus so you want to increment there and now inside there we want to do our nether check so you want to write like active image like that same variable is greater than images dot length minus one so we want to write is like active image and it will be now equals to zero now the next thing which you have to do is to write or else block and now let's just decrement or active images active image to be precise and now let's just do another check which will be like active active image and it will be like less than zero so now we want to do is that we want to provide like active image and it will be like equals to images dot length minus one now the final thing which i'm going to do is underneath this if and else statements we are going to be just writing our function so set time not set timer but set image as background now let's just call this function and also active images okay so once we call this function server file so you can just click on these buttons and it will now give us these images right here okay so that's them so now let me just zoom out a bit so that we can see the code a bit clearly first of all we just get everything we need to get and then also we just create our active image um, variable then we create this function of like active images we iterate over through all of these images and we just remove that active and animation transition and we also provide like and we just add this active clause and this animate transition clauses to these images okay which are these images right here and now the next thing which we did is that we just create this function like set image as a background uh, inside this function we have this body and we are just styling the background color and we are just attaching these images and then the first active image as a background image right here and we are now just calling this function so it will give us some sort of image to work with so then we have this arrow buttons and we are now iterating over through this button and now inside there we have a button we are just attaching the event listener so whenever we click on some sort of a button so we want to check or conditions so here we have is like if we click on a button we have the class of like um right arrow so for that we want to just increment or this image variable active image variable and also you want to check if active image is greater than images dot length minus one so we want to just um, uh, set this image variable to zero if that's not the case then you want to jump into the else block and you want to just decrement or image 
and also we want to check if this active images is less than zero so then we want to set this active image to this image length minus one finally we just call this function like set image as background and also active images right here so we are now totally done with our project so if you wanted to go with there so you can just choose how many images you like and if you just refresh our browser so it will now give us like new images anytime we refresh this browser and you can now just like switch around these uh, images if you want to but it's taking a little bit of time to render i don't know why i guess it's because of my internet connection all right so now we are totally done with our project so now the next thing which i'm going to mention is like if you guys don't know about git and github so feel free to skip this video and jump right into the next one and if you guys do know about git and github and just want to push your code into your github repository so this is what i'm going to do right now so let me just close this file and we are working on o59 project so i'm going to just write like git status and we are working on o59 git add everything first of all git commit dash m and now let's just write like um background uh image carousel and now let's just hit enter and now finally let's just push our code into our github repository so it will now just push our code into our github repository if you refresh that so we are now getting our o59 project right here and now here is our javascript arts right, so here is our html code right here then we have this javascript code and also we have this style.css code right here if you want to check that out all right so now we are totally done with our project we push our code into our github repository and i guess that would be it for now and i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.